Hey, this is Jim. It's uh, April 3rd, a Sunday. Um, I'm out here in a field that broke away from, from us yesterday afternoon. We had some 50 mile an hour plus wind. And so we're putting together a plan to uh, try to keep uh, this field in place. I mean, it's sand. That's just what it is. And uh, have some challenges here. Uh, nice home here. Obviously, um, when this thing broke away, the neighbor called. I'm not very happy. We want to address it and be a good neighbor. We've got winds forecasted tomorrow, 50 mile an hour plus in the afternoon again. We are going to pull the drills in here tomorrow morning, try to have this field planted before noon. Hey, we're at this field that uh, blew out on us over the weekend. It's uh, about seven o'clock this morning, sun's coming up and uh, we're a balmy 37 degrees, but uh, we're putting beets in the ground. Not cause uh, we really want to, but uh, well, not this early. We do want to put beets in the ground, but mostly cause uh, we're gonna try and hold this field. You can see what the uh, little diker's doing, how it's roughing things up and uh, um, I think it'll hold. I think it's going to work. It's sure as heck not going to be as bad as what we saw here uh, over the weekend. So, uh, tally-ho, here we go. I'd be outside talking to you, but um, since uh, we got these beats in about 1 o'clock Monday uh, to today, it's Tuesday, about uh, 5 o'clock, 5.30, we have experienced a pretty consistent... 30 plus mile an hour wind with gusts uh, upwards of 55 miles per hour. This field was moving really harsh. You can see where it whisked a little bit and some of the dikes have filled, but it certainly has not taken off and got away from us. Uh, we'll start the water on here tomorrow. Our plan is to fly some wheat seed on run the lines across, you know, hopefully, you know, we can learn some things here that will help growers um, down the road, so. It's April 10th, about eight o'clock. Um, we had another tough weekend here. Wind started picking up Friday afternoon, blew uh, pretty much uh, all Friday night, all day Saturday, Saturday night. Uh, and a lot of uh, dirt and dust moving um, especially in the sandier, lighter soils. Um, but uh, decided to shoot back over here and uh, see how things are going on uh, on my field. It it looks really, really good. I'm I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm very impressed with the, what the, what we've been able to do with the little dikers. Well, I have uh, kind of looked this field over. Um, honestly, feeling really good about it right now. Um, so you know, we're hoping. Uh, uh, the rest of this uh, week treats us better than uh, we've been treated over the weekend. Give you an update of what things look like in uh, in East Idaho. Um, it's been a tough, tough week. We've had snow temperatures down in the low 20s. I came to check, not to see if they're blown out. I've got a lot of confidence that they're not blown out. I came to see if my beets had sprouted. And uh, sure enough, um, they have... Uh, they have sprouted. Hopefully uh, the cold nights this past week and the cold nights we have coming won't take them out. There's definitely uh, the potential that the seed got froze. I mean, that's not surprising. What is surprising is that, uh, you know, the seed actually got going and kudos to beta seed. I mean, it looked like the emergence was gonna be quick and, and uh, uh, fairly uniform. Um, we just uh, probably put them in a little too early, but uh, we'll wait and see. Way too early to start doing stand counts. Um, more wind. Uh, unfortunately, we got down to 20 Saturday morning. We did not uh, survive 20 degrees um, Saturday morning. So um, we're uh, back here replanting. So we were gonna come in here and cultivate this thing uh, today and uh, reset the pockets and kind of turn all this fine stuff under, but um, uh, change of plans when it got down to 20. 
going in replanting the beets and uh which will give us an opportunity to do the basically the same thing we were going to do with the cultivator reset the dikes and and uh, reset the start date really for this field um last time uh, i was here well that i made a video with you we uh replanted been across with the water once just went through uh three uh days of wind uh beets have sprouted and hooked down um no signs of frost yet which is good uh, as you see even though we've had the wind after replant with the little dikers um uh things are holding well we started the water back across it today now that uh temperatures are going to be back above freezing it's been uh the coldest spring to bring beets up I, I ever remember. I mean, we've had colder mornings, but uh, not an overall colder spring. And hopefully we'll uh, coax these things out of the ground. Uh, soil temps this morning were uh, just barely above 40. Wondering what's under here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's beet. There. I'm uh, here at the field that, uh, we have been uh, significantly challenged on. It's been froze, the wind's blown. We've had over 50 mile an hour winds pretty much all day. Uh, started about 9.30 uh, at 40.45 and uh, by 10 was 50 miles an hour. It's uh, almost four in the afternoon, been a steady 50 miles an hour. There is dirt moving all over this valley. I decided to run down here and again, um, I'm, uh, feel pretty good about uh, dikers. I sure wish our cover crop would have come up a little quicker, but it is getting in there. Uh, we're supposed to have winds through uh, tomorrow morning, and uh, that's ugly. Hey, Jim with Desert Sunset Egg, thanks a lot. And it is howling. Hey, I'm out here on our uh, field we're consulting on in the sand. You can see the cover crops coming up. It's been a hell of a spring, folks. Friday, we had uh, a day long of winds, uh, 50, 55 mile an hour plus. Um, our field's still uh, hanging in there. Hasn't blown out. Of course, we uh, have been pretty proactive in trying to keep this soil in place. Um, with dikers, irrigation, uh, as you can see the cover crops coming up. We did get froze earlier and I was out here this morning doing some stand counts. We have uh, 225 beets on 100 feet a row. So uh, pretty much everything uh, that we replanted is here as well as some survivors from the first go around. We have beets, actually look pretty good. Um, look better the further you go across the field. Uh, of course, uh, this is the end that uh, where all the dirt ends up at, and it's just sandy. Two thirds of this field is uh, real sandy. But uh, pretty excited that uh, we still have uh, beets that have not been blown out. I think we're uh, we're gonna make a pretty decent beet crop here, uh, especially considering as hard a spring as we've had. This is our field. Um, as you can see, uh, we made it. Um, surprisingly enough, uh, it was the frost that took the first stand of beets out. Uh, I'm pretty thrilled. Um, obviously not where we wanted this beet crop for June 21st, but uh, we're better off than a, a lot of our neighbors and uh, some of the guys in the Upper Snake because it has been a really difficult spring. Last Friday and Saturday, we had two days of 50 to 60 mile an hour winds. Uh, we had corn that got cut off and hay that got moved around, uh, wheat that got knocked down uh, and, and some sugar beets that got uh, taken out, but um, not this field. So uh, pretty happy with uh, uh, how things have gone. We did learn some things here um, and uh, hopefully you did too. So. Thanks for watching. This is Jim with uh, Desert Sunset Ag and Chapman Seed.